If you're not doing the right balance optimization exercises um, before you play or practice, um, you're going to want to do the right bomb. If you are an upper core player and you do the express, it's going to change your delivery, your trail arm delivery. So make sure you, you uh, either go online and, and view the information on trail arm delivery and the express, how it affects it, or meet with one of our right balance professionals and they will take you through it. But if you look at me and how my arms and hands hang at my side, you'll notice that my uh, right shoulder is down, my right hip is up, my left hand is rotated in uh, much more than my right. So when we talk about getting your hands on the club for the trainer grip, it is it's imperative uh, that your arms and hands hang the same be able to get a consistent grip on the club. And I'm going to show you what that is now. So the first thing we want to look at is just recall how to do the right bomb. Now I have an interlocking grip. Butt of the club is out. out. I have a heel pad on top. Interlocking grip and that in, index finger is touching. And I get in my setup and I, I do the right bomb. And now you can see that my hips and shoulders are level. My hands hang exactly the same. Now I'm ready to work with a trainer group. Okay? So, about 18 months ago, we did a video. We actually did a study on the impact of the trigger finger. And in those days, we, had, we saw the change in the hip line. That uh, if, the, if you have an interlocking grip, which I just showed you, this index finger needs to be touching that middle finger. And when it is, I'm just going to disrupt my core, you'll see my hands hang differently, right shoulders down, right hips up. I look like Nick Faldo in his uh, 1989 book on winning golf. If you go to that book where he's talking about posture, this is exactly the way he looks at it, uh, when he's describing what to do. So I believe Faldo used his rolled shoulder position at address to do his own bomb of sorts. Uh, he did it unwittingly. Uh, but anyway, here is index finger touching, right bomb, stand tall. And I'm going to have greater shoulder rotation as you saw in the other videos. Arms and hands are going to hang the same. The interface of my spine and my pelvis or such that it frees up movement dramatically, increases my rotation by about 20 degrees. So now I'm going to do an interlocking grip. I'm going to disrupt my core. You can see I'm back to where my hands hang unevenly. I'm going to do an interlocking grip with that trigger finger up here, okay? I'm going to do the right bomb, but it does nothing. You can see that when I make that move, I'm going to make that move again in just a moment. My right hip is still higher, right shoulder's down. Okay, so I'm going to do that again. Index finger is created with an interlocking grip. Bad thing to do. To the bomb, stand tall, no change. So you're going to get no effect from the right balance optimization move and address. Uh, and unless your, your grip is accurate. I'm going to show you, this is interlock, okay? And that index finger is touching as I did the bomb. And now my, and my hips are level, shoulders are level, arms and hands hang the same. So just understanding uh, why that, how that trigger finger impacts your setup, uh, it has a dramatic effect. Okay, now I'm going to raise one foot, show you once again. I disconnect that closed kinetic chain. That is why my body goes back to that uh, sideways. Actually, my hips are rotated left. That's why my hand is rotated in. My right shoulder is down. My right hip is up. Now, if I have a 10-finger grip on the club, I still have that index finger touching. So I'm not going to go through that in the interest of time. So 10-finger grip must be touching. Overlap grip. If that finger, uh, okay, I'm going to show you overlap. Notice my core is disrupted. Overlap 
and, an, and a trigger finger. Do the bomb, stand tall, and it's corrected everything. That's with an overlap, I need a trigger finger. So reset, disconnect the closed kinetic chain. Notice that as I relax, right shoulder drops, left or right hip rises. So this configuration is going to create injury with repeated motion. Uh, and it did with me over the years, in the years past. So I have overlap, index finger touching, bad thing to do. No change. All I need to do with that overlap now is to add a trigger finger, which I have here. Stand tall and it's corrected everything. So this research on the trigger finger was done with uh, 40 plus of our right balance professionals around the world. Sent them out a research question. This is two, three years ago. And that came, the only thing we had online up to that point was showing that the hips rotate. Now we know it impacts the uh, address position. So as you start to use, when we add the right hand with the trainer grip and you start to use it, please remember we're going to have you doing the bomb and address, but it's only going to work if your grip is correct on that uh, grip trainer. And I'll remind you as we go through those videos.